Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. Um, something a little different on the channel. It's not something I do a lot of, but I do have um, an RC vehicle here I'm going to run today. Uh, this is something I typically don't do much of uh, until we get into the uh, off season of flying, I guess, if you will, uh, where weather uh, and light conditions limit what you can do. Um, usually I limit my um, running to bashing in the snow and i do have a few vehicles that i'll eventually get on the channel this winter uh but i had to get um this on the channel i just picked up the vendetta from arma oh, i shouldn't say just i got it on sale um back oh i think the last time they had a good sale back in fourth of july it's been a while since horizon has had a good one i'm not sure what's up with them but um got this car for a song and a dance really I wound up I believe it was like half price for like a week or something like that and then because I'm a, uh, a Horizon member or Elite member at a lot of extra discounts so I wound up picking this car up for gosh 160 bucks 150 somewhere in there crazy amount been eyeing this up for a couple years anyways and couldn't pass it up at that amount so this is going to be the first run with this um, I've got a couple different batteries here. I'm not doing 3S because I'm resisting the temptation. I have no idea how this car is going to perform or how I'll be able to handle it. I'm assuming it's going to be good, uh, but I'm not smacking it up on the Maiden, so if that's what you want to call this. So I've got a couple of 2S 5000, a 30C, a 50C pack. I don't know if that will make any difference with speed or not. We'll do some runs here and see what it's like. Um, I'm going to get the vehicle set up, and we'll be back. All right, YouTube, set up here. Um, I uh, really think this is a pretty nice car for what you get, especially for what I paid for it. Um, it does come with the higher end transmitter with um, the telemetry on it, uh, active vehicle control. Um, I have a couple other cars that have that on, it makes it pretty easy to control. So I'm sure I'm going to do just fine with this car, but again I resisted the temptation of going 3S right away. Uh, and yeah, it's a it's a breezy day here, October day in Wisconsin. Uh, just had a cruddy couple of days here. It's been raining nonstop for two days. And finally let up. Still very windy. Uh, and it's probably going to be like that yet tomorrow on a Sunday. And we're getting to that time of year where. Um, There's no light after work, which sucks. So my flying is limited. Um, hope to get some more flying in and some more uh, more flights on the channel. Uh, but for the meantime, we're gonna run this Arma. I've always liked the looks of this car trying to get the steering set up on it here pretty good right there I think All right so see what this car's got two s Goes along pretty good. Probably a good thing I'm not running through it. I mean, this is not hard to control, but at the same time, I don't drive cars much. to smack this into a curb here first running out or first run have the uh, 30 C pack in here
and looks like I have the active steering rate a little past half. We're going to go all the way to full here. Uh, this car is supposed to be like most armor products. It's supposed to be waterproof for a lot of the electronics and water resistant for everything else. Uh, manual says don't treat it like a submarine but you can run it in wet conditions. Um, snow, that sort of thing, rain, go through puddles, so on and so forth. Uh, you do have to make sure you dry your car off thoroughly after you do that. Take the, uh, the, the chassis off and You know, I use, a, I have a compressor at home. I'll use, a, I've got an air gun I put on my compressor, blow the chassis off. So that helps with uh, keeping the mechanical components, components uh, from corroding, rusting. They still do eventually, uh, especially the way I do most of my vehicles, which again is something for me to do in the wintertime because I can't fly in most cases. So I, I run them around in the yard in the snow if we have a small amount of snow and it's actually kind of fun um, again hope to have some videos of that as we get to this winter all right that was almost full ABC I'm gonna try to go about a quarter here Let's see what that does Let's see if I can get it to Drift a little, there we go. Steering is much more touchy at this point. You can definitely uh, get it drifting. Did hear runtime about half battery now after that. A lot of that was full throttle, and <laughs> also just realized I'm at 75%. So I didn't uh, run into any problems right off the get go. That's a little more like it. Turn out the ABC a little bit. It was pretty good at 100%.
I was starting to get down there and uh, battery uh, definitely at that hundred percent you'd um, you definitely spin it around more there even with the ABC going up a little bit now at hundred percent you still have the ability to do a little bit more power drifting This car definitely is, I'm sure, pretty fast on 3S. getting low on battery I'm gonna bring it in here so this was the 330 C we're gonna, we're gonna set up the uh, 50 C we'll see if there's any sort of performance difference hey YouTube mark with ultimate RC got the Arma Vendetta going here this is the second run uh, fifty C five thousand smart pack. Thing moves pretty good actually on two S. Three uh, S I'm sure it really cooks. I know my buddy Helder has a bunch of uh, RC cars at some point. It'd be kind of cool to set up a course here. I know we used to do that here. Um, we used to do a lot of things at this venue here. And then they went and built that structure over there. It's a pickleball court. Um, I played tennis in the past. I played ping pong in the past. Not sure about this pickleball thing, especially when they build it in a venue that I really like to use for RC. Um, it forced us to go across the street over there to the church and um, that service road back there is where I do a lot of my flying now. But this is such a nice parking lot for landing, especially especially for the jets that um, Helder and I especially flew our larger ones, especially um, nice, smooth and long um, and while there's some things in the way for the approach here especially on the west end those uh, couple of small trees there still by and large uh, one of the better areas we had for flying jets and having a nice long runway to set them down and not be challenged there and um, whew, that was close and now we basically can't do that anymore here unless it's uh, well October and not windy we I could be here flying today with the jet but uh, it is windy it's out of the north it's crosswind it probably blowing close to 15 miles an hour at some point so no flying today probably could but days like today are when you bust landing gears and have bad landings and um, I don't need to fly that bad. At least not yet. So this vehicle is supposed to have some limited off-road capability. At least they show that in the promotional video with uh, kind of a hard packed dirt surface. Um, trying to figure out if there's some places around here where I might be able to run this vehicle and maybe some of my other vehicles 
that I'll end up showcasing on the channel. Um, but I probably won't do a ton with cars. Um, flying is where it's at for me. This is something to do to keep my RC skills, if you will, going when I can't do much flying. So, do like this car though, it runs pretty well. Something I can run out in front of the house. I just came here because it's such a nice uh, surface here. Not going to eat up tires and things like that. I don't know how quickly you go through tires on a car like this. The uh, car looks like it has really nice tires on it. I think these are uh, these uh, Hones tires. I've heard of them before. Um, doesn't look like I've got much tire wear here, which is nice. Um, had a hard time deciding between the blue or the green. I went with the green because of visibility, but I really like the blue. Either way, cool car. Getting low on juice. And, uh, good stopping ability I don't uh, I got the brake grade all the way up apparently that's where it came from the factory so not bad but uh but ready to call it quits because my hands are getting cold <laughs> I haven't had to say that for a while it sucks to have to say that uh, I just I don't know about you but this time of year it's a bummer you know what's coming you know the lack of light and ability to do the things that you like to do um, whether it be a hobby like this or anything else after you get done with work and things like that and then you got the weekend and if the weather's crap well you got nothing so it's fix it time time to work on your models and make upgrades and things like that um, I may have some things planned um, this winter that I may do uh, made put some of that stuff on the channel with some of my planes uh, thinking reverse thrust on my f16 70 millimeter and I may do a video on that but um, that should do it for today uh, thanks again for watching we'll see if maybe I can get some more videos of this when I can get part-timer out here and, and she can record at the same time and, and maybe we get some better pictures um, maybe set up a course or something like that see how well I can do with that See if my buddy Helder has a car he'd want to run with me. But, uh, thanks so much for watching, YouTube. Like and subscribe, hit the bell, um, do all the things to let YouTube know this is the type of content you want to watch. Mark with Ultimate RC.